This is the room when you enter. There's the bed. And in here's the bathroom. There's like a little closet on this side. Mirror, kind of like a vanity situation. Tub. Another one on this side, shower, and another small closet. And we have outside. Table and chair. And this is the view of our room. See the ocean all the way, and then down there's the pool and dolphins and the beach. Okay, so I did want to share this experience with you because I really enjoyed it. Uh, I celebrated a birthday a couple weeks ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know I'm 37 now. People can't believe that. I'm approaching my 40s, which is kind of unbelievable. Honestly, I feel Pretty young like sometimes when I hear the number 37 I think like oh, that's kind of old like I mean and I'm not calling anyone old but just hearing the number because I feel like it was so recent when I was in my 20s and I thought 30 something sounded old um, I definitely don't feel old I feel pretty young I actually feel like I'm still in my 20s although like I will say like mentally I have matured <laughs> thank goodness and so usually for my birthday and not this year or last year we normally would go on a trip and that's what we've done and so we had planned to do something this year as well i mean honestly it was booked we had tickets we had a airbnbs and things like that but my birthday's in january and around january too there was a lot of news about tons of flight cancellations delays this and that and we i mean when we come back we gotta go back to work and if something happened while we we're traveling you don't know if you can extend your airbnb there are just so many things that are up in the air that we didn't want to travel with that like worry concern that something might happen with our accommodations or whatever um so we decided that we would just wait <laughs> until later until things are maybe a little bit more settled down and we would do a staycation instead which also it's totally fine we you know got reimbursements blah 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 for all the things that we booked and we decided to stay at the kahala hotel here right in hawaii and i wanted to share the experience with you all because of a few reasons which i will get into right now so the first thing is the kahala hotel is like this premium luxury i think it's five star resort i've never stayed at a five-star resort before they do a resident discount which is amazing but it's still expensive and uh basically what we did is all the money that we were initially planning to use for our trip once we canceled things and got reimbursements we just redirected it to the kahala hotel a lot of famous people have stayed there in the past former presidents princess diana celebrities people you've seen on tv movies game shows all that kind of stuff and another reason why we chose the kahala is because it's pretty secluded from lots of other busy things so i think when we think hawaii lots of you know lots of thoughts come to mind in general but one of the places i think people tend to stay is waikiki waikiki is stacked with hotels it's like every single block is a hotel and they're like all right next to each other the kahala hotel is by itself it's a hotel that has a golf course across the street and then there's just like residential like houses granted they're very expensive fancy houses but that's just all that's around this one hotel and so when i was there it was like actually the most peaceful hotel stay that i have ever had in my life it was so quiet relaxing it was totally what i needed from the day-to-day -day grind the busyness and like the you know oh my god i gotta do these 20 million things on my checklist so it was great <laughs> i sat in the hotel for hours in a day outside on the balcony we got an ocean view it was great i will definitely insert some footage we had dinner at the plumeria beach house i keep wanting to call it different things so i hope i got that name right but i will show you some of the things that we ate the beach was beautiful there are amazing like i guess 180 degree views of the ocean 
Um, I would definitely recommend if you can afford to stay there to check it out at least for one night, but like I mentioned, it's pretty pricey. I think even the resident discount was like $400 a night and that was, it's about, 45% off the regular price. But anyways, the points that I wanted to make about, um, you know, with sharing that I did this was, you know, it's like part of it is about treating yourself and doing something really nice and amazing every once in a while. It doesn't have to be staying at a five-star luxury resort. That's the first time I've ever done it in almost 40 years of life. So, you know, it could be anything, like taking time to yourself. It could be free. You could drive somewhere that's quiet. It could be in nature. Maybe there's a park, a forest, something near you that you can go to and just like chill out, disconnect for a while. Initially, I, I before going there, I was like, I'm gonna film all these reels and like these videos in the hotel room because it's a different background and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't do any of that while I was there because I got there and it like clicked and I was like, I'm supposed to do nothing this weekend. I'm supposed to do absolutely nothing except for sit on this chair out and look outside or read a book. And I really needed that. We did walk around and all that kind of stuff too. Trust me, I didn't just lock myself up in the room. I did enjoy the resort. We got room service, you know, all that kind of stuff. It was really great. And yeah, so a self-care wellness moment, taking care of yourself, relaxing, taking a step back, doing something kind of chill. And yeah, it was a great experience. I hope to be able to go back again. And yeah, I'd recommend either staying there or doing something similar for yourself because I really needed it. I felt so refreshed. I took the rest of the week off from work. And it's funny because usually I feel like vacation, like whenever I take off from work, I feel like it goes by so fast. It's like day one is the last day, even though you still have 10 days left or whatever. And then suddenly you're like back in the office and doing work. Um, this did not feel like that. I actually felt like I got the time to like chill out and like do nothing, but also do stuff. You know, I didn't literally do nothing. I was doing stuff too. We were going out, finding other places to eat for the rest of the week when we weren't staying there. And yeah, it was just good. And it made me realize how important doing stuff like that is. So I wanted to share that with you all. Hope you get to do something similar as well. And let me know in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram what kind of stuff you guys do for self-care because that, that was just a good reminder for me and I do feel like I need some other ideas. Just in case I can't like actually go somewhere to do something, you know, what can you do at home? Trying to explore those things myself as well. But yeah, if you are able to take time off, you have PTO or anything like that, please remember to take it. Don't let it go to waste. You're, you're putting in the hard work to get all of those benefits from work, so remember to do that for yourself. I know there are a lot of other like entrepreneurs, small business owners and stuff like that too, who don't have PTO to just go and like use whenever they want, but it is important to figure out ways for you to build in that time for yourself because I felt so refreshed. I felt like I could do more afterwards because I allowed myself to rest and I think that's really important. All right, well, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video and you wanna see more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to tell me your wellness tips down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.